video, we will show you how to install your RAD0002 Remote Oxygen Depletion Safety Alarm. The RAD0002 is ideal for facilities that use bulk inert gases, helium, argon, nitrogen, etc., such as cryogenic labs, medical facilities, and much more. Pressurized system gas leaks can very quickly displace oxygen and result in an oxygen deficient area. Before we begin, let's take a look at what comes with your remote oxygen depletion safety alarm. Within the box, you should find one remote display unit, one main sensor unit, one pre-wired power supply, three different international power adapters, one 25-foot Cat5 cable, three relay cables. These come connected to the device but can be easily removed if you are not connecting the RAD0002 to external devices, one wall plug safety strap, two mounting brackets, and one bag of mounting hardware. For the installation, and not included, you will need a standard Phillips head screwdriver or drill. First, choose a location near a wall outlet to install the main sensor unit. The main sensor unit is commonly mounted near pressurized tanks of liquid nitrogen or argon. Because inert gases vary in molecular weight, the oxygen depletion sensor will need to be mounted at the height associated with the gas that you are concerned about. This diagram demonstrates the various molecular weights and heights associated with inert gases. The oxygen sensor should be mounted at a height that corresponds with the associated gas. For example, if you were storing argon, you would want to mount the sensor approximately 24 to 30 inches from the floor. If you were storing helium, you would want to mount the sensor approximately 60 inches from the floor. Next, attach one of the mounting brackets to the wall, utilizing provided screws and drywall anchors. Use the mounting bracket as a template to mark placement for holes. Once the placement has been marked, drill holes accordingly. Then insert clear wall anchors into the holes and ensure they are flush to the wall. You will then screw the mounting bracket to the wall. Now slide the main sensor unit onto the mounting bracket. To mount the remote display unit, choose a location outside the room where the main sensor is mounted. The remote display unit should be mounted to the wall at eye level so that you can easily view the reported oxygen levels. Repeat the steps to attach the second mounting bracket to the wall. And finally, slide the remote display unit onto the mounting bracket. Locate the Cat5 cable and route it between the main sensor unit and the remote display. Plug the cable into the output port on the back of the main sensing unit. Then, plug the other end of the cable into the input port on the back of the remote display unit. Next, plug the main sensor unit into the wall outlet to provide power to the device. Once the power has been connected, your remote oxygen depletion safety alarm will perform a self-check and countdown. If the main sensor does not complete its self-check and countdown, ensure that the Cat5 cable is plugged into the correct port. And finally, if required, attach the wall plug safety strap. Now breathe easy, knowing you have successfully installed your remote oxygen depletion safety alarm. 